Okay guys, so I got the results from the MyDNAH test and I could not wait to share it with you. The company actually emailed me about a week ago to notify me that the results were completed and that I could log in or just download the file. And I had no idea because it, their message was going into my spam folder. So I logged into my DNA website to my account on there yesterday out of curiosity and it said the results were ready and I got really nervous and my heart started racing a little. I said a little prayer like, please God, don't let it be really bad. And then before, as it was downloading, it took forever to download because of my slow internet, I asked my son his opinion, what he thought it would say about my age, and his guess was either 42 or 44. He really must not think that I'm very healthy, although I think I, I think that I try to be as healthy as I can. My guess to him was that it was going to say 32. That's what I was hoping for, but honestly, like I said in the last video, I thought honestly thought it would be in the 40s or worse but what I really wanted it to say was 32 and I got really close so I'm just going to tell you guys first of all I'm 37 born on September 1st and my result said that I was 34. It said that I was biologically younger than 80 percent of the population and I cannot tell you how relieved how happy grateful and shocked I was and so that's my result. So I'm really amazed that it was my result. It really made my day yesterday and today and forever after. Basically, I'm trying to think about what could have made my results that good. And the only thing I can think of is that the last two years, I've been eating the healthiest I've ever eaten before in my life. And I'm on and off doing it inter intermittent fasting. I'm not doing it to lose weight. I'm not doing it even purposely. I know that sounds weird, but for the last two years also, I've been eating 100% gluten and dairy free, though I have accidentally consumed gluten a couple of times, which causes me a lot of health problems due to an autoimmune disorder. But basically, I've been very strictly eating gluten and dairy free. Besides that, I had concerns about my results because I had long-term poisoning from carbon monoxide and it caused me a lot of health problems, which I never had prior to it. I didn't mention this in the last video, but I have a pretty rare genetic mutation on an important tumor suppressing gene. And unfortunately, I don't think I have the best genetics in general. I feel like there's a lot we can do with our environment and our diet to try to impact our health. And I think that plays a huge role as well. So that's the last thing I wanted to mention is I did start taking nicotinamide riboside in order to increase levels of NAD, which is very important for longevity, living longer and healthier and repairing damaged DNA and stuff like that, which I really, really do need because like the genetic mutation that I have, one of the jobs of that tumor suppressing gene is to repair damaged DNA, but my gene is broken. And do you want to know something? I was trying to make myself feel better. And I don't like researching this genetic mutation very often because it kind of, it stresses me out. And I don't want to focus on the negative, but <clears throat> I was researching it, like I said, to try to make myself feel better because I'm thinking, we have so many genes, so many people have mutations all the time. You hear about that. Uh, I didn't learn about this in high school or grade school or anything though, but they do teach a lot of it now. But I'm thinking there's got to be a lot of tumor suppressing genes of this significance, like the one that I have the mutation on. I'm sure we've got like millions of them. So I looked it up and it said that there are 10. 10. And so one of mine is, is has the mutation and is broken. And so... Like I said, I keep doing these things to try to reassure myself and it just keeps getting worse. So it's best to not focus on the negative. I should focus on my results, which are very positive. And um, I, I just wanna be healthy and that's about it and live as long as I can as healthy, you know, in a healthy way, a healthy lifestyle in good health, that's all. So if any of you guys watching happen to have done this test, and you have the results and you feel comfortable sharing it with everybody below, please feel free to do so. It's really, really interesting. So thank you guys so much for watching and take care.